Like uh, this morning, I walked into a shop and I found this. Look at this, it's still fresh. And uh, because it's running out on the 21st, today is 28th, they put it on clearance. Yes, the original price was £1.25 and currently the price is 86 p And I'll be making a fried rice tomorrow. I decided to buy this instead of buying the frozen vegetables, you know, and this is, uh, you know, the spring onion. Original price was 70p and uh, they put it for 46p, you know. Now, this is fresh tomato again. Original price was £1.00. And I got it at the price of 80p. Look at it. It's, it's very strong. You know, it's, I don't know. I don't just know. It's good for salad because it's quite hard. So I put it in the fridge. Wash, put in the fridge for salad. Though nobody washes anything here. I mean, some British people, some in quotes. But we, we wash literally everything. And this Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Chi Nyere and this afternoon I will be showing you how I buy food stuff, you know, groceries and some of the vegetables I buy here on discounts, you know, offers, low price. In the UK, there is what is called food bank. Um, there is also items on discounts. They have special offers, some percentage of and, you know, all that. So today I'll be sharing with you how I save money, how I save some pens, some pounds, buying items on discounts, items on special offer. Yes, in any of the shops in the UK, be it local or bigger supermarkets, there are sections for discounted items or discounted foodstuffs, discounted um, um, special offers like vegetables, like fruits and all that. Like basically, if you are buying this fruit, one of them might be like, you know, 50 pence or you could get three for a pound. But in this very bag, I have six for a pound. So how did I get this? Um, basically, like I mentioned, food bank in the UK, I do not go to food bank. I don't even, I have never been to one, you know, but I have taken something from the church, I must confess, especially in my church, the always bring in vegetables, fresh tomatoes, and um, some fruits all the time. So sometimes at the end of the service, I will take a bag of tomato, a bag of apple or banana. Yeah, these are the things they always bring. But in the other of my church, the Catholic church, there was one day I attended mass there. Behind the church, loads of donated food items and people were taking. But I was like, no, this cannot be for me. Hence, I can at least afford the money to buy what we want and not only that i can as well buy these things on offer you know so no point taking those ones that are meant for people who might not be able to afford it i cannot tell and those people that go to food banks um i cannot say that a lot of them cannot afford it because i've seen nigerians yeah who go to collect these things from food bank so basically if you want to save money in the uk when shopping for food stuff you know vegetables and fruits in every shop, for instance, inside this very shop, inside Tesco, they have a section where they put in items on special offer, especially food items on special offer, 50% off. Assuming a price of a banana is like a two pound, they could cut it to one pound or even less than that, you know. And, and this is Lidl, right inside Lidl, they also have their special offers, special offers today as low, I mean, Basically, when I want to make vegetable soup, I always like to go to Lidl because a bag of big spinach, you know, it goes for full price at £159, £1.59. But then when it is on discount, on a special offer, you get it for 79p or even 70p. So by so doing, I have bought two bags for £1.40, even having balance for what I should have used to buy just a bag. So I always look forward to buying these things from shops like that. There is also another shop, Corporate. In fact, every shop they has this. I remember those days, Morrison's was my major shop where I buy things because it was close by my house. 5 p.m. was usually the time Morrison's puts items, especially food items. You can even buy rice or whatever. 
you know, on this can just look at inside Tesco. You see some of, you see that rice there, especially people who don't like cooking, whatever you want to buy in this country, you can buy them, to be honest with you. Now, take a look. I bought this uh, carrots. Oh, 62 pence. Yeah, the original price was £1.20 because it's organic. And I bought it at the price of 62 pence. Why did I buy this? Because I am going to be making, um, what is it called? I'm going to be juxting this evening for my little boy and for everyone in this house. So I decided to buy this one from Special Offer. This is one pound and this tomato is one pound. If you are buying this in original price from the shop, honestly speaking, you will buy it for like almost two pound or thereabout. Yes, but it's one pound. This beats 50p and this is for one pound. And I bought this um, mushroom, it's as fresh as, I didn't buy it today. What I did, original price was um, £1.05, but I bought it for 26 pence. It was very fresh, so all I did was to throw it into my freezer. Most often I prefer to buy the fresh ones on discount when I buy, I come home and wash. And when I buy, because I eat a lot of vegetables. I eat smoothie a lot. I've lost 4 kg eating low carb. So I like buying fruits on discount. When I buy, I come home, wash them, put them in my freezer. You know, just like the cauliflower I had this afternoon. Another place you can buy something on a discount is going to the open market. Just like I was there today, the open market. Um, though I was quite very early, but that notwithstanding, that is where I bought all these things. Yes, like I mentioned earlier, the loose ones, one for 40p, 50p, but a whole bag of this now is one pound, a pound, you know. Then towards evening time, around, because they usually close at 4 p.m., but towards 2 o'clock, you see them screaming like those market women in um, Select Expressway, in any of the local market or nature, and, you know, they will be calling people to buy their things because they don't want to go back home with them. You know, they brought all these things fresh from farm. It's not as if they are bad. So they will be cutting it into half price or even 70% off, you know. So these are basically another fantastic way you can buy things on discount in this very country. When I was a student here, there was this very shop we walked into, you know. Um, I'm trying to explain the fact, I'm trying to make you understand why they put all these things on discount and why they don't want to keep them, they don't want them to run out, you know, because some of them have expiration dates. You know, like this one now might be expiring as in the expiration date or the chef life, the counter life could be like in two days time. So they want to put them on discount, 50%, 70% off so that people can buy them. They don't want them to stay in their counters or in their shape till that very day it will run out because they're going to discard all of them. So this is why they always cut the price. So one of the days... My friend, Mimi Oluwa, my flatmate, she's a Yoruba. So she went into a shop just to buy milk. When she bought that milk, they gave her a whole chicken from the freezer. And Mimi came home and told me, Chief, something is happening in that shop. Let's go buy more things. I went in there. I bought just chocolate of about 50p. They gave me a whole chicken. <laughs> this is how life is in the UK. Why did they give us a whole frozen chicken? You know why? Because the expiration dates comes in two days time chicken was inside freezer or not even out of the not the fresh chicken <laughs> you know so if i what we did we went back to that shop twice we planned going for the third time we were like no they will know that they will understand our tricks that we kept coming because we wanted more chicken you know we want them to be giving us more chicken you know so we decided not to go again after going for two times we got to two whole chicken whole chicken you know so this also happened with fresh chicken in Lido, in all the shops, you know, when it has about two or three days to run out, PM, they will cut down the price into two or cut it by 70% off so that people would rush it, people would buy them all. There is another shop cooperative. My friend said, Chi, don't go into that shop. It's quite expensive. One day I started to walk into that shop. Guess what? They are always doing sales. They are always putting their vegetables on special offer, you know, cabbage, Oh my goodness, even chicken and everything. And that has become 
my roadside shop that's convenience shop each time i take some to to school i will just stop by that shop instead of buying from heron though heron sometimes they have something on discount but then they are not as fresh as that very shop the cooperative dear oh look at the things they have very fresh you pour them out they are good is anything wrong with this tomato now nothing is wrong with it just wash and clean put in your fridge or you blend it and use it for what you want to use it for you know so this is the way it works here if you want to save money if you want to you know save some pens look out for all these things buy from the open market even if you are not buying from the open market when you walk into a shop observe very well you will see discounts yeah sometimes i'll pick something on the, on the original price for instance the spinach the bag of spinach i'll pick it maybe for one pound 59 from lido on walking around towards where they keep their discounted vegetables and stuff i would find fresh one there i will quickly drop the one i took for the original price and take the one for 70p so that i can save money Oh, come back, wash my veggie. That has to if you want to save money, keep buying items on special offer, on discount. If you, if you don't like to cook, cooked food are there on discount. To be honest, fried rice, whichever rice you want to eat, whichever food you want to, whichever snack, pastries, you know, pastas, blah, blah, blah. For those that eat pastas and bastard, they are always there for you to buy on discount. <sighs> So that is it. This is it for this video. I sincerely appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Yes. Let me enjoy the food I made with my discounted cauliflower this afternoon. Okay. All right. So who is ready to join me? <laughs> Let's throw stone. Cauliflower on low budget. This bitterly soup was made with, uh, um, what is it called? The plantain flour that I told you my friend sent from Liverpool. And it's so nice. Oh my God. I like it to be from. Low budget cauliflower. I'm enjoying it. Don't mind these things on the table. I'm going for school on soon, So I'll tidy them. I'll tidy them up afterwards. Mm. With a leaf soup, no good. Hmm. I am happy to have made it. First time in many years. Mm. all right thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and keep coming for more yeah justice to eat <clears throat> any nutritionist that says a black person or whomever shouldn't eat swallow fufu of any kind aligos fire aligos fire 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 <laughs> we jump and pass. How can an African go without swallowing? <laughs> without fufu. <laughs> At least once in a week, it's something. Also, mango yaya. I jump and pass fat. 